right everyone in today's video i'm gonna be teaching you how to make a gratitude spiral a gratitude spiral is a spiral that you will create on your page and inside of that spiral you'll be creating sentences stating things that you're grateful for and in doing this it allows you to feel positive allows you to find something that you are grateful for and these are the supplies that i used when making your spiral you want to make sure that you leave enough space right between each spiral so that you can fill it in with your words and also if you want to draw pictures you can also put that in there i'm going to write in my circle things i'm grateful for so it can be a shelter it can be friends family as you're writing down your ideas you are rotating your paper i am grateful for god my mom my husband stepkids extended family my sisters my god sister i'm grateful for god's grace and his mercy i'm grateful for god's answered prayer I'm grateful that I'm able to express myself through creating and through words. I'm grateful for chocolate, peanut butter, music, dance. You can uh, color this, you can use colored pencils, you can use pastels, you can use other supplies to finish your piece. Now note that you do want to use bright colors because once this dries, I want to be able to see my words. There are definitely these moments in life where you're just frustrated. Well, let me speak for myself that I'm frustrated and annoyed and I need to bring some positivity back into my life. So this exercise helps. I'm grateful for the pigeons chirping. I'm grateful that I'm able to just take a walk and breathe in God's air. <sighs> Look at the trees and just take some deep breaths. There's nothing too big or too small to be grateful for. It could be I had my favorite donut today, my favorite muffin, my favorite tea. Add this to your spiral. Something, right? makes me smile, right? That might mean getting a piece of your favorite chocolate, okay? That might mean that getting a snack. It might mean, you know, watching a funny movie. You know, this can have your movies in here that you like. Maybe you watched a funny movie yesterday and, you know, maybe you went out with a friend yesterday. I am grateful for the job that God has given me. I'm grateful for new beginnings, a new year, new things. I'm grateful for my church family, my godfathers, my godmother. You may be mourning or grieving the loss of a loved one. You can make this gratitude spiral, grateful spiral about them. Focus on your love and your time spent. You can mention the amazing things that you were able to do together. Write down the places that you've gone. You could put your memories in here. Sharing why you are grateful to have had them in your life during this time. Because your memories. Your memories will stay in your heart, right? The times they made you smile, the times that you fussed each other out, or you went out, or you had deep conversations. This can be dedicated to that person, that person's favorite food. Uh, what can you do to celebrate their life in the midst of, you know, our sadness, right? Because we miss the people that are no longer with us. They've made such an impact. They find yourself uh, really getting engulfed in this exercise so that it's fine. And see, every time might be different, but schedule it during a time where, you know, you have time to sit in a, in a, in a space um, where you can reflect. And just while you're at work. Right, you can do this on your lunch break. You can do this most by any time through your day where you know you have a moment to yourself.